Okay, next I will show how to port this example ionic app and make it a Visual Force page app. First open up www.lib ionic folder and this contains all the apps dependencies uh, like JavaScript and CSS etc. So let's zip it all up. And upload this zip file as a static resource. In my development org, I'm going to search for static resources and I'm going to create a new static resource called Ionic Lib and upload that zip file. Also, I'm going to make cache control public. Okay, that's done. Now, next, I'm going to create three more individual JavaScript uh, static resources one for app.js and one for controller.js and one more for services.js. This is because we need to make changes and edit them in the future. Okay, my app underscore app underscore js. One thing to note that static resources cannot have file extensions and also needs to have a unique names. Uh, that's why I have a namespace of my app and then uh, underscore app underscore js to represent our app.js and I'm going to save that and then I'll repeat the same thing for the other two JavaScript files next we need to import our HTML files and make them individual uh, Visual Force pages. So to do that, let's go to our pages section and start importing and start copy pasting our HTML files here. For our index.html, I'm going to create our Visual Force page name as my app underscore index underscore underscore HTML. And basically, copy paste the whole thing. inside here and remove this dot type declaration here and replace this with this guy so here I'm specifying that apex page shouldn't show any salesforce headers or sidebars or style sheets or body type body tag or even the HTML tag so it's essentially acting like a container uh, visual force needs the index to be present so let's add them Okay, now we're good. Okay, let's repeat the process to import all other templates or fragments. Okay, now have my index page and all other template files loaded as individual Visual Force pages. Let's open them all in our developer console. So let's open up, let's go open static resources. We need uh, app.js controllers, services, and also all our pages, like uh, starting from in index. Okay, so we have everything opened up in our developer console, but this app still won't work just yet because we need to update our location of CSS and JavaScript dependencies to point to our static resources zip file. To do that, simply select everything here with, and replace it with this. So here, as you can see, it is pointing to ionic lib static resource and also providing the path to the CSS file itself. And similarly, we have a static resource path for our app.js, controller.js, and services.js. Okay, we are almost there. One last thing we need to do for this to work is to update our template URL point to new Apex pages. To do that, let's open up our app.js file and update all these template URLs to point to the new Apex paths. And to save time, I have just pasted uh, the correct URLs. So as you can see for this route, the new template URL is Apex slash my app underscore tabs underscore HTML. And similarly for the friends tab, 
the new path is apex forward slash my app underscore tab underscore friends underscore html uh, if you remember these are all the names of the visual four pages that we gave earlier and to open up any of the visual four pages we need to simply prepend apex for it to show up and now we are good let's try it out let's save it uh, i am on my index.html over here so let's preview it okay good so as you can see it's everything is showing up and all the sub views are all working so we are now good to go and one more thing to note here is as i'm clicking you can see the url fragments are also changing but our main index page remains the same and that's your single page app in action okay at this point we are done porting the example any capital visual force but it still doesn't interact with salesforce at all in the next section we will see how to do that